Hank, it looks like we've got some pretty safe entries in the Bronco busting event. They're all amateurs. But I am a little concerned about this fellow Herman Munster. Oh, yeah. He's the guy whose kid was here bragging about what a great writer his pop is. That's right. And we can't take any chances of anybody walking off with that $500 prize money we were offering. So just to be on the safe side, let's put this Munster character on a volcano. Volcano? That's not a horse, it's a time bomb. He'll wreck this guy, Munster. So what? If anything should go wrong, we'll return his entry fee to his widow. <laughs> You on a bucking bronco? Well, you couldn't even ride a kitty car. Oh, yes, I could. I used to ride Eddie's all the time. But, Uncle Herman, riding a bucking bronco is one of the most dangerous sports in the whole world. You might get killed. Mm. Herman, it'd be just like you to pull a dirty trick like that on me, you bum. You don't even have enough life insurance to keep me in cigars. Golly, when Eddie first mentioned the idea of bronco busting to me, it sounded kind of like a fun thing. But, dear, the last time you were on a merry-go-round horse, you had to wear a safety belt. <laughs> I don't want you to go through with this. You'll just go out and get yourself killed. You're only 152 years old, and I won't have you cut down in the, in the prime of life. But, gee, dear, I promised Eddie. He's counting on me. What can I say to him? It's simple. You just go up to your son and tell him that his daddy is a no-good, rotten coward. <laughs> do that. Boys don't have many heroes left that they can look up to these days. If I let him down, all he has left is Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Herman, why don't you use child psychology? All you have to do is talk to Eddie in such a way that he'll be the one who suggests that you drop out of the rodeo. That's a good idea. That's just what I'll do. But instead of being blunt and direct, I'll be subtle and talk to Eddie on his own mental level. Yeah, and if you can't quite get up to it, do the best you can. <laughs> and once upon a time in this big, big castle, to live this very brave knight named Sir Herman the Great. Gee, Pop, he had the same name as you. Well, well, what do you know about that? <laughs> anyway, in a nearby cave, there lived this very mean, mean dragon. What did he do that was so bad? Well, he went around abducting young maidens and pillaging the countryside and terrorizing villages and doing other naughty things. <laughs> and everyone said, that Sir Herman the Great was the only one that was brave enough and strong enough to vanquish the dragon. There's a white knight on television like that, except all he ever does is chase dirt out of blue jeans. Anyway, as Sir Herman the Great was starting out on his way to vanquish the dragon, his wife and his father-in-law and his niece came running out and cried, Oh, brave Sir Herman, prithee do not go forth this day, for the dragon might slay thee. <laughs> Boy, they sure talked corny in those days. Well, anyway, although Sir Herman was on his way to slay the cruel dragon, he thought it over and realized that he could be eaten up by the dragon. And if the dragon ate him up, then there would be no one left to take care of his little home and his little family. Now, what do you think about that? I think the knight was a rotten chicken yellow coward. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Now, I think you ought to sue the guy who made up that story for calling the knight by your name. Because you'd never chicken out like that, would you, Pop? Oh, God, Zooks, no. <laughs> I bet tomorrow you'll be the bravest guy in the whole rodeo. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Well, good night, son. <laughs> Night, Pop. <laughs> right, my way, I just as soon chase dirt out of blue jeans. <laughs> Get 
a load of volcano. You sure calmed down since yesterday. <laughs> Still think we ought to put this monster guy on that horse? Sure, why not? But tell the ambulance attendants that the minute he hits the ground, to throw a sheet over him quick. We don't want his broken bones to uh, dampen the festivities. <laughs> Always underfoot. Now scat! Scat! <laughs> Sorry, Spot. <laughs> Aunt Lily, is Uncle Herman going to ride that Bronco in the rodeo today? Yes, Marilyn. I did everything I could to talk him out of it. But he said a knight should be proud to ride forth and slay dragons for his son. <laughs> I guess he's been reading Prince Valiant again. Where's Uncle Herman now? Down in the dungeon. He is so nervous and so tense, he asked Grandpa to, to do something to relax his nerves. That is a good idea. I just hope he doesn't overdo it. The last time Grandpa relaxed him, his nerves were so loose that we had to call in the piano tuner to tighten them up. Grandpa, have you found anything yet to make me brave? When I think of riding a bucking bronco, I'm petrified. What are you knocking? Some of my best friends are petrified. <laughs> no, I'm mean scared. Haven't you got any brave pills I can take? <laughs> I made these in the Middle Ages for Richard the Lionhearted. Did they work? Did they work? I'll have you know that before he took these, he was known as Chicken Dicky. <laughs> Shall I take some of these? No, 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 no. It says uh, they're good only if you're going on a crusade, and uh, I don't think you want to take that much time off from work. <laughs> Grandpa, you got to give me something to make me here. I got to ride that horse in an hour. Herman, let's face it. Nice, handsome, pleasant man you are. But with all the pills in the world, a hero you ain't. Well, what am I gonna do? It just came to me. Herman, now supposing the horse you rode today was gentle and kind, and uh, you and he had sort of an under-the-table uh, deal? Hmm? Well, that's fine, but I'm not very proficient at talking to horses. <laughs> You're very proficient at talking to me. Aren't you? Yeah. Supposing I turn myself into a horse. Oh, oh you mean you would be the bucking bronco I'd ride at the rodeo? <laughs> Grandpa, that's a wizard idea. <laughs> Astronauts. Autos. Aborigines. <laughs> Animals. No. What's the matter? Mm, this animal bottle is so old, the label has fallen off. Well, just have to take my chances and hope I come up with a horse. <laughs>